Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your general forecast for February. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, we're going to take a look at the energies around you for this time. So it could be about love. It could be about general, you know, work, career, finance, whatever comes out. We're just going to take the energies as they come. And this is for sun, moon, rising. If we do get love, I would say Venus. If not, I will say Jupiter, but definitely your sun, moon, rising. So if you have it in your chart, uh, in those placements and, uh, we'll see what we have for you. So welcome Gemini. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season and happy new year. So let's see what's going on for Gemini at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, please feel free. Links to your playlist, general and love are below in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below. And if you would, um, yeah, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section also. All right, so Gemini. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We get a sign, element, or planet. We'll see what comes out for you. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Only take what resonates in this reading and leave the rest. If it's not, pertaining to you, then it's not your message. Next reading may be for you. I may tip, tap into your energy then. So let's see what's going on, Gemini. So take it only how it resonates for you. It could be past, present, future, somebody around you um, that's affecting you in some way or situation. So we'll see. So let's see what we have here for Gemini with the Zodiac Oracle, sign, element, or planet. And we'll see how that affects your reading. So we have Saturn energy, which is the energy of Capricorn, which the Capricorn in the tarot does represent the devil, but we'll see how that plays out here. So the Saturn energy is all about ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that plays out for you. If you don't have, you could have Capricorn in your chart or know somebody who's a Capricorn uh, in some way. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, at this time. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get an opening message for you, and then we'll get an, an opening energy, opening message, and then an energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then we'll get the actual situation. We'll get advice for the situation, possible outcome of your situation, and then closing messages there with that um, deck there. So... Let's see, Gemini, what's the opening message for Gemini at this time? I'm feeling that one. So we have three. We have recognition and rewards. So this is a three of pentacles energy. So this have to, could have to do with career and finance. Maybe there's something where you're being recognized in your career, getting some kind of recognition or reward or promotion or raise or being recognized for good work or something like that. So we'll see how this plays out. And the three pentacles energy is all about teamwork, collaboration, working together, working with others, you know, mastering your craft, learning something new. All right. So let's see what your energy is. Your energy is. And you know what the Saturn energy there could maybe it was a little bit of a challenge for you to learn this new phase or learn something new. Maybe you had a little bit of challenging times for some reason but now you're being acknowledged for accomplishment in some way, shape, or form, perhaps. Um, or it could be the very ambitious energy also going after this and then receiving that recognition and reward for all your dedicated effort and hard work and working with others. So let's see what your energy is. So we have mental conflict, two of swords. So that's being indecisive about something. So you have recognition and reward, but yet you have mental conflict and indecision about a situation or something here. Hmm. We're going to clarify with the tower, see what's going on. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have wisdom, which is the hierophant energy. So, so you have all this new wisdom and this inner wisdom, and you were very dedicated and, um, committed to this because the Hierophant is about dedication, wisdom, 
commitment. It can be about marriage. It can be about um, doing what's moral, just and right, faith, spirituality, religion, structure. So, you know, institutional and kind of, you know, like energy. So I feel like you're very committed to this and fives about change to this change. But I feel like now that you have it, you're like, well, I'm not sure if I want this now. <laughs> okay, so let's clarify. It's like you have the change you wanted. You're all the more, more wiser. You've learned what you wanted to learn. You succeeded how you wanted to succeed. You got that rec recognition and award, um, reward. You were very ambitious and goal oriented, oriented with this. But it's like now that you have it, you're like, well, now I'm not sure if I want this. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Now you're like, I, I don't know if this is what I truly want. Now you're conflicted. All right. Let's see what's going on here for Gemini. Why is all this energy here for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Please, Spirit. Thank you so much. And this is your energy. This is Sword Energy, Libra, Gem Gemini, Aquarius. So. We got the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. So, yeah, you thought this was something you were going to love. Like, the King of Cups energy. You're like, oh, I'm just going to love this once I once I make, you know, once I get through this, once I get where I want to be. Oh, I'm going to just love it so much more. But now you're like, well, yeah, I don't know if I truly want this now. I don't know. I'm not loving it so much. I don't know uh, if I want this now. The Five of Cups is like sadness, hurt, loneliness, but I don't know, for some reason, I'm getting almost like the Four of Cups energy, like, I don't know if I truly want this now. I thought I was just going to love it, love this, whatever you went for here. Maybe it was a promotion or something like that. And you're like, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want this now. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. All right, so... Let's see. Let's get more energy here. Why this is here. Two of Wands. So, you know, this is about making plans and decisions and moving forward. So I feel like you made the decision to move forward in this. And you, and you thought, oh gosh, I'm just going to love this now. Once I get there, once I get where I want to be, oh, I'm going to be so much more happier. And then you get there and you're like, I don't like this now. <laughs> I don't know if I want this six of swords so yeah you thought you were going to a much better place thought you were going to a much better place the six of sword energy all right justice yeah you thought this is the right thing to do justice card here you're like okay this is the right thing to do this is what i want um kind of energy i'll be so much more happier following you know you thought, honestly, you thought, this is the right thing. I'll be much more balanced. This is the right thing to do for me. I'll be going into a better place. I've made that decision to move forward in this. I'll be so much more happier. And then you get there and you're like, I don't think I want this now. <laughs> okay. Strength. So it's. I think it's taking all your strength to, it took a lot of strength, courage, strength, bravery to get to this point. And now you get there, and now it's taking all your strength and courage to just stay in this situation. You know, all your willpower and determination. Like, you thought this was divinely guided for you. Like, it was definitely the right thing. But now you're not so sure. You thought it was a wise choice. And you stayed committed to it. And now you're like, ah, I don't know if I like this change. Don't know if I like it. Okay. So let's look at your actual situation. Let's look at your actual situation. Five of Swords. Yeah. You thought you were getting ahead. You thought it was the right thing to do. You thought, you know, that's that. Maybe ego was getting in the way. Maybe, you know, this is a promotion where you have a higher ranking authority. And maybe it was all your ego. Like, yeah, I can do this. I, I want to be the boss. I want to be this. I want to be that. And then you get there and you're like, I'm not liking this so much. So you were, you know, determined to get ahead at all costs and making that decision. And now you get there and you're like, yeah, I'm not liking this. And I think maybe it was all in your head, all your ego, you know, take, took, taking control. 
All right. So let's see the actual situation. Eight of Cups. Yeah, now you're wanting to walk away from this. You're like, I thought I was walking to something more fulfilling and leaving something less fulfilling behind. But now, you know, because I followed my ego, and now I get there and it's like, now I want to water, walk away from this. It's like, now I'm not liking this so much. The Eight of Cups is like, you want to walk away from, you know, you walk away from something, but you can walk away to something more fulfilling. And you thought you were leaving something and going to something more fulfilling and now you want to walk away from that because you're like i don't think i made the right choice here and here's the queen of swords divine energy coming in to say yep that's truth clarity of the matter now you're seeing and that's your energy libra gemini aquarius king or queen doesn't matter what is watching this now seeing with truth and clarity right in the middle of your spread maybe this wasn't the most wisest decision i made now i have that truth and clarity why did i do this because now I want to walk away from this situation. I thought it was the right thing to do. But now I just want to cut myself free from this. And walk away. I want to speak my truth. Oh boy. Magician. So yeah, you are manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself here. And you thought it was the right thing to do. You're like, okay, I'm going to manifest this brand new beginning for myself followed my ego and now I get there and I'm like uh, I'm all stressed out so maybe you have too much maybe <laughs> it's too much stress too much anxiety too much burden too much worry energy maybe you're not sleeping at night too much responsibility it's like why did I take on all this stress and anxiety with this new beginning that I thought I could handle and now I'm not I don't think I can handle this I want to walk away from it I thought it was the right thing to do. I thought I could handle it, but it was just my ego talking. And now I'm not so happy with the situation. Wow. <laughs> okay. So let's get advice for you. Very clear, direct message here for some of you Gemini. So again, this may not resonate for everybody. So this could be a decision about work, a promotion. It could be whatever you made a decision and you thought was the best choice for you moving forward in a new direction, manifesting a new beginning. But now once you get there, you're like, okay, overburdened with stress, worry, stress, and fear, anxiety, and not wanting to stay in that situation now. So whatever that is for you. King of Pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, you may be making more money. You know, you're like, I'm making more money, though. But is it worth all this stress, fear, anxiety? You know, I feel more stable and grounded financially. But is the mental anguish worth the Pentacles? The coin. All right. So that's your, this is your advice. So you need to think about, you see this man like in deep contemplation. Is this worth, is my sanity worth it for a coin? Or whatever your situation is here. Yeah, high priestess. So needing to follow your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. It's like, you know, now you didn't make the right choice that I think deep down within you knew. When you made this choice that, because the devil there does represent toxic energy. You knew it was, there was going to be a lot of stress associated with this, but you went for it anyway. And that could have been just because you wanted that recognition and reward. Like that ego energy also was like that devil toxic energy. Could have been just all ego. And now you're like, why, why did I do this? <laughs> why didn't I listen to my gut and my intuition instead of my ego? All right, let's get another one here. Page of Cups. So you could be apologizing, saying, no, I'm sorry, but uh, I need to walk away from this. <laughs> That's too many. All right, let's take this one. The Hermit. Yeah, so you're going to have to go in and do some inner journey work here, reflection, decision, thinking, contemplating exactly what you're going to do in this situation. How are you going to go about this? Are you going to stay? Are you going to leave? Are you going to walk away? Are you going to quit? I, I don't know. What are you going to do? I, I tell you, I don't think you're happy now with the decision you made, but you let your ego rule over your intuition. And now you're stuck in this position where you're overburdened, you're overworked, you're overstressed. And now... And now you just feel like I need to get out of this situation. So your advice is to do that journey work. How you go about this. Follow your intuition. 
you need to decide is being more stable and grounded and secure, making more money worth my sanity and my health. Okay, so let's see the possible outcome. So karma, yeah, so there's a devil energy again. So it's like you got your karma for not following your intuition and letting your ego rule over your intuition. It's like you knew, like this happened to me in my life. I went for a higher ranking position and I knew deep down I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway because I said, ah, I can do it. I ended up leaving that job a year later, almost out on a uh, stress, well, I did go out on stress leave and I never went back to that job. Had I not taken it, I'd probably still be there. So, so that's like the karma to pay, pay back for not following your intuition. Exactly what happened to me. So, all right. So let's see here. Possible outcome. The lovers. So you will be making a choice here that's more aligned with you. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a lover lover. I'm not getting any kind of that energy here, but you will make a decision that's for your best interest for your own sanity. Ace of Pentacles. So you actually may just go get a new job. You may actually just quit. You may do what I do and you may just leave and go find something new that will be, you may even make, make more money and you'll be more secure, grounded and stable for the long term. Maybe something you may go in, go into that you make the decision to go after that could lead to long-term prosperity and you could be at that position or that career, that job or new opportunity for much longer time than you are at this one. However, this resonates for you. So that's your possible outcome here. Do you stay in this karmic situation you put yourself in or do you make the conscious choice to do what's best for you and take a new opportunity or go in a new direction, which is a better opportunity or look for a better opportunity? That would be divinely guided for you with the Ace of Pentacles energy. I'm feeling drawn to this one. And you could be returning back home, or you could be returning to your first job, or you could be returning to something you've wanted to do since childhood. Yeah, you. I, Ten of Swords, I think you're just going to end this situation and say, look, no, I just can't do it. You're going to end this karmic situation you put yourself in and make the conscious choice to make a better decision to something more fulfilling, something you want to do since childhood or returning back home, returning to a first job you had or something like that. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. So much more stable and grounded here. Happy home and family life. Celebrating the world. Yeah. Closing out a chapter, starting a whole new chapter. The High Priest. So we have the High Priestess and the High Priest. So again, following your gut, your intuition doing what's moral, just, and right. You know, you, you were committed. We do have the Hierophant here, so that's double confirmation. So you were committed to this. You stay committed to this decision that you made, but now you know it wasn't the right decision. So now you're going after something more fulfilling for you, and there's that offer coming in, something more stable and grounded. Are you accepting an offer that comes in? Yeah, you're ending, again, you're ending a situation here. You put yourself in a heartbreaking position of overburdened work, stress, anxiety, of taking on a position of higher authority that you regret now. So, yeah, knight of pen, a knight of swords. So you may be just rushing in saying, look, I'm done. I don't know why I did this. I'm leaving. I'm done. But you'll be much more stable and grounded in the long term, independent, making your coin and not having to worry. So, wow. So, let's see. We have... Cancer Scorpio Pisces, we have um, Libra, Leo, Libra Gemini Aquarius, your energy, and then we have the Magician here, which I believe is Gemini in Virgo, and then we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Cancer Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, that's your energy, Scorpio, and then over here we have um, Libra Gemini Aquarius, that's your energy, Aries, Scorpio, Libra, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So however that resonates for you. A lot of different energy. Taurus again over there. Ooh, Capricorn there with Saturn. 
So let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini. So if this hasn't happened yet, or if you're considering taking something that you're not sure of, but you're, you're kind of letting your ego rule over your intuition, follow your intuition and don't get stuck in this kind of situation like I did. And kind of, I was at a job for 26 years. I took on a manager role. I was overworked. I was overstressed. I was overburdened. I had a mean, nasty manager. And it caused me just about to like lose it all, my, my sanity, everything. And I left that after 26 years. So don't get stuck in that kind of situation. <laughs> okay, so follow your intuition. Don't let ego rule over your intuition. If you already put yourself in this place, then do what's best for you, Gemini. Let's get to closing messages for you, Gemini. I do ask you, especially if you're new, if you like my energy, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, or you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please do subscribe. I love to read the comments also. And don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. So let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini. Nope. Let's see. What do we have here? The Queen of Winter. So again, divine energy stepping in. And we have the Queen of Swords right here. Sword energy is always mental clarity, thoughts, uh, divine energy, uh, especially the king, the queen, the ace. So the queen of swords is showing up again. She's right in the middle of your spread. So this is listening to, you know, to think logically about this and listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Have clear cut clarity on this before you move forward. Queen of winter, experience, self-sufficient, brilliant, funny. Leopard, all your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. It's time to declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore, and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness. So if you've already put yourself in this place and it's not working out for you, then you may need to um, clear that situation that's not working for you anymore. Unfortunately, if you already put yourself in that position, maybe the right thing to do. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's get a few more messages for you, Gemini. So we have the Princess of Spring. Energetic, outgoing, optimistic, creative. So this is Leo Sag Aries energy. And that's your energy there also with the Queen of Winter, uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we have Monarch Butterfly. So this is about transformation, transition, Creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. So this is the page of one. So you may have some good news coming into you about a different opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles here. So you may get a new, by leaving this opportunity situation that you put yourself in, you may actually get another opportunity that comes your way. Once you leave this, and it may be um, better suited for you. All right, so let's get one more. Okay, we'll take this one. Wow. So, <laughs> okay, I'll take these two. So we got the two of winter again, clarifying the two of swords over here. Two of swords again. Dash hound dog. Procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Exactly. So you may have did this because you were worried about others would think if you didn't do it. So again, following your ego instead of your intuition and now put you in a, put you in a pickle. Now you don't know what to do. And that indecisive energy of the two of swords. But now we have the star here, which is Aquarius energy. So we have Oriole. You are about to take a big leap forward with, your life worry will be replaced with optimism fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost so this is divinely guided energy faith hope optimism which is a dreams coming true divinely guided energy so there will be healing over this um energy something else i feel divinely guided for you will eventually come for you in for you in the long run if you leave this situation it'll be like a wish dream come true with the star energy so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have five of spring ram. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, 
then do what you can to m minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So this may cause conflict because you did this and now you don't want it. So, you know, in whatever situation you're in, you know, maybe it's causing you inner conflict or maybe you had inner conflict about doing this because you worried about what other people would think. So you went for it anyway. Now you're regretting it. You're worried about people will think because there may be conflict. Now you decided and you may say, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm leaving. And you're worried about that conflict. It's going to happen with other people. And you're feeling conflicted inside about doing that also. So, wow. What did you get yourself into, Gemini? So again, this may not resonate for everybody, but if it does, please leave me a comment. Let me know. And so best of luck you, to you, Gemini, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And um, as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.